We drove 35 kilometers from Hoima town to Kigorovia sub-county, Kibiro fishing village, where the Kibiro hot springs are located. This fishing village, which is also well known for salt gardens, sits near the shores of Lake Albert in Bunyoro sub-region in western Uganda. We are guided by the area LC1 executive to the Kibiro hot springs. The spring which we visited is so hot that one cannot rest a hand in its waters. Wish we had the salt to use on the eggs. We shall get. We actually enjoyed the eggs boiled for 15 minutes in the hot spring. What makes it more interesting is that you do not have to look for salt to flavor the eggs because it is right here in the hot spring. We are told that people can only bathe in the spring after it has run about 300 meters from its source and cold. Local leaders say the hot springs have attracted many local and international tourists. We usually get tourists from uh, different, different countries, USA, England, Australia, Germany, Belgium. But mostly we get those ones from Germany. With the help of the government, I think tourism will be uplifted. And it is our, uh, our demand. We also need the tourism so that even the community can benefit something. The residents here do not only get money from fishing in Lake Albert, but they also supplement their incomes from salt mining because the gardens that surround the Kibiro Hot Springs are endowed with salt. Our main economic activity has been salt mining since time immemorial. But my disappointment is uh, we are still using the technology. Our great ancestors, long time ago, we are using. We have not added our technology. It means those people were more wiser than us. The salt, which is mined by mostly women, is produced through a very tedious process. The women collect the soil, which they spread on ground for a fortnight to observe the salt. They will, put, they will get a, a saucepan, which is having a hole. They put some stones so that uh, the, the, the salt collected is, will, not mend, will not contain a lot of uh, dust. So they put some stones down, they put so soil up, they put water, so that they collect the, the, con the concentrated salt. It's that uh, water which is concentrated, they will go and boil in a process and they get salt. We don't have any food out here. This is the source of livelihood that God put out here for us. Without gathering firewood, you cannot make the salt. You have to get firewood to boil the water to get salt. You then sell the salt and buy something to eat in the market. <laughs> Leaders here want government to help them develop the area so that they can earn more money from the natural endowments. Even if we want to go, we are requesting a government to to construct for us a, a, a good road. I know these women because they are hard working. If they are to be they are supported, they can uplift the standard of living and they can be able even to, to pay their uh, children in the higher institutions of learning. Like many other places that have hot springs, the locals here say their village has got supernatural powers that attract many to visit it for healing purposes. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Hoima District.